Already that time for the month. Much love changed my name from Zach Gullet to a cooler name. Hello? Is that my pals? What is good? Hey, thank you guys for the resubs. Zigo, appreciate you. Trash with the resub as well. <clears throat> hello, hello. It is your boy, and I have with me a booster box. Once again, I uh, can't help myself but spend money on fucking. Well, two years, but almost one year, I could have spent oh. this money on. Hey, Basti. <laughs> Thank you for the 24 months, my dude. Appreciate you, bro. You the go, for real. Trump wall jokes. <laughs> Fucking kid. <laughs> that comment was funny. Bassy got the golden boo. Let's go. Appreciate everybody for being here. Hello and welcome. Today we will be... You can see my chicken on the table, of course. Um, I wanted to just do a stream... Where we uh, where we do a little little opening, a little bit of chilling. Maybe we just, you know, just chill. Oh shit! Bye, yo. Thanks for all the content you give us. Right, you win. Thank you for the seven months, and then that guy with the with the thousand, bro. We will definitely be getting the Zard because of that. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Bring in the luck. Gotta set the chick. Well, yeah, just leaving the leaving the cock out, huh? <laughs> On full display. Um. How's everybody doing? What up, Mav? Day's been good. It's been, it's snowing today. Maybe actually I can open my window and show you guys. Since I 
since I have my Epoch cam set up, you can see my car. And it's spooky. It is snowing out there. It's kind of hard to see the actual falling snow currently. But I assure you, it do be snowing. Lagging a little bit here, sorry about that. Russell Wilson on the Broncos. Let's go. Also, I got new bindings for my snowboard. You can see Kit is chilling by, <laughs> by them. Check this bad boy out. I just set those bad boys up. Because why not? <clears throat> Those eight to nine seasons gonna hit. I don't know about even that many. <laughs> and Union Atlas, let's go. Gravy thighs knows was good. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna be opening uh, booster box today, chilling, hanging out. Thank you guys for being here with me. Uh, Epoch cam seems more laggy than usual, but whatever. I'm gonna speak of what, Sam? All right, so let's crack open this cold one with the fucking boys. I feel like I always look like a good day for Smash or Pass 898 edition. <laughs> All the Pokemon. I don't know about that, bro. There's not many Pokemon I would smash. It would all be it would all be pass. Also, how's the how's the audio for you guys? You guys hear the lo-fi? Just started up a new song. We're actually trying to crack open some hot boys. We want the Charizard. We love the endless possibilities of a brand new booster box, boys. We love it. I always feel like there's much hope until you pull a secret rare. That's not the one you want. Because there's guaranteed like one cool, pretty much sweet card in this box. Will it be the one you want? Who knows? Uh, I'm going to be using these Arceus sleeves I got from my Elite Trainer box. Most gym leaders are underage. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, let's let's do it, boys. Start off with a little Whimsic Cop Pack. So I've opened, I've opened a booster box here uh, in the past. This this video will be going up on my secondary YouTube channel. Shout out to Hayden Live. If you guys are into... If you miss some streams and you want to catch up on stuff, my streams will always live on that YouTube channel. You got exclamation point VODs in the chat you will see the link to that. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Agatha is not underage, that's true. <laughs> hey, Jay Young, thank you very much for the 101 biddies. Appreciate you, bro, for real. Who's smashing Agatha? I'm gonna probably pass on Agatha. <laughs> Just added my curl frags to the dit. Oh, let's go. I'm excited to see. Electabus. <laughs> we got the Chimeco. Did I go forward to the- I did go to the, the forward of the thing. The front, I think. I feel like- Did I open this Turtwig before, last time? I feel like I did, but I don't know. Remember you saying, you smash Glacia, living you live- <laughs> I'd smash Glacia for sure, bro. Alright, reverse Tropius. And our first rare is a Lipard. It's a first pack dud, but that's fine. You like to get those out of the way. Also, I have this little mushroom that I put, took out of my desk recently. I like him. I feel like I should like store my weed in here. It's a little, it, I think candies came in this at one point. I don't even remember where I got it. It's neat. Maybe anybody else have one of these? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Right, pack number two. Got the, it's got God himself on it. So I would like to pull uh, the gold Arceus card. There's I mean, any of the gold cards are cool. I think we did actually get the gold Moltres last time. Going on the VOD channel. It is indeed. But, there's no chat currently on stream. Which I could do, but... Mm -mm -mm. Code card for y'all at home. Three and four to the front. Alright, give me a rainbow Charizard. We got the fire energy to start things off. Let's go. I am now a Pokemon card opening YouTuber. 
Uh, also, shout out to the video I had on the main channel today. Had a nice little Wi-Fi battle for you folks. I almost didn't upload that va that battle because it was very strange and weird. But it actually was kind of funny, so hopefully people enjoyed it. Crazy ass Magmar. We got Star You. It was a weird battle, yeah. Hunting gloves, and the rare is a Hollow Lucario, which is a new one. I have not. Don't remember how many actual regular, just regular hollows I got the last time I opened a box, but. He do be hitting you with an Aura Sphere, though. He about to Aura Sphere dat ass. So I will keep the hollows just over in a pile. Why not? Bam, bam. Gonna upload the Licky Licky Sweep. Uh, no, I said it was almost a Licky Licky Sweep I got one time. It didn't work. It didn't end up working out. It ended up being a shit battle. I'll do more. I'll do some more battles with that team. Licky Licky's tough. I need to change his moveset around a little bit, but. Uh, you guys, you're about to see Zuki walk by. <laughs> Toxin, out. thank you for the bit. Appreciate you. Alright, I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be a regular V in this pack. For whatever reason. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Toxin, I'll thank you for the five. Appreciate you. And we had a we had a squawk in chat. Hold up. <laughs> Get a different angle of the squawk today. Two days in a row I'm streaming. Call me a full-time streamer out here. Morgrim, one of the weirdest Pokemon ever. Uh, draw three cards, which I think is the same effect as regular Ultra Ball. I honestly kind of want to try playing the actual TCG one one time. What I think would be a fun concept would be like two people open an elite trainer box and build decks with the cards that they pull and then actually play the game with that. Wouldn't that be fun? Show us that Char Char Charizard to see. Oh, we got a um, trainer collection or trainer gallery cards. This is the Alchemy. Um, and that's nice because that's one that I do not have yet. Look at its eyes when I go on there. Why, why did Alchemy get one of these cards? Celery Slap, thank you for the 50. Let this 50 bring us luck for this next pull. It's just a muck with his big slime dick. <laughs> uh, but the Alchemy is a sick card. I really like these trainer gallery cards. I would like to have like a full set of these at some point. They're actually really cool. Uh, but we'll put you in an Arceus sleeve. How about that, buddy? So I'm guessing we'll probably get like two or three of these in this opening in one booster box, I imagine. I'm not sure what the rates are for those, but yeah, what's up with this muck card, bro? He really just brings out the slime hammer out at one time. Dun, 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 dun. Wish I was that old man. <laughs> Is he gonna eat the Pokemon or the cake he's holding? Card opening streams here are pretty chill usually. I just enjoy opening cards. I wish I had more, but I got this booster box in today and I was like, you know what? Let me just open this. It's had an arm coming out of nowhere. Arm in quotes. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let me add something real quick. Browser. Hey, Wolfbane, thank you, bro. Thank you very much for the resub. Wolf, how the heck are you? And Arcanal's here, and we got Carp, and now it's behind the chat. Oh, geez. Put the chat above, or our alerts above the chat. All right, there's gonna be something good in this pack. Oh, okay, I saw that it's this color code card, which honestly I don't remember. Hey, Brent Bowers, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you, my friend. Should probably make these alerts a little smaller, huh? Put them in top left. I'm just, you can tell that I'm just going with the flow out here, boys. Return from your attic? What are you doing in the attic? We got a weasel. We got the friendly Turtwig again, Dogsino with the Bork. Bork. Bluezel. Star you. I did not go forward to the front, so here's what we're gonna do. Boom. Fracture. Boom. Weavile. Hunting gloves. And. Sinister V. God damn it, I got this fucking monkey last time, I think. I'm pretty. I don't know how many just regular V's are in this. Well, the snowman Wazuki. It is snowing pretty good out there today. But we got a regular V. I will put you in a sleeve. Semi-seer. I think at one point was vo oh there was an energy back there too. Sammy's here was I think voted as like the least favorite Pokemon. I think at least in Japan at some point. Worst monkey in the game for sure. But you know whatever it's kind of a hit so we'll take it. Can I put a smart plug up there? Wiring above my room. Check out the snow out there, boys. It's beautiful. And you can see my car. 
We love a snow day. Makes me feel good about staying inside and just opening some Pokemon cards with my with my chicken. <laughs> Don't like the elemental monkeys, you know something's wrong. Isn't they're based off of like the What are the monkeys based off of? It's like hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil or some shit. I don't remember. There's something about them though. Anyway, next pack. You know what? My streets, my neighborhood streets do not get snow plowed for whatever reason. Which is fucking annoying, because I pay for like an HOA to live in, and they don't like do anything. They basically just pay for nothing. That looks like your first car. It looks similar to the- how did you know what my first car was, Cricket? I had the- my first car was the Mazda 3. It's the same color, but this one's a little more capable of mountain driving. HOA is some bullshit. I do have a Subaru. <laughs> Pay us so we can tell you what to do. Seriously. Does keep the neighborhoods nice, I guess, though, bro. I don't know. Dedane, look at this fake-ass Pikachu, man. I remember when this thing, this Pokemon first came out, I hated it. I was like, why? Why Why would they do that? They made a Raichu-looking Pikachu. Duskull. We got a Worm, madam. A Worm, madam. And for the rare, we've got... Nothing. Just Clefable, just having a skip on the water. Is it saying skipping through the water? Boo -boo -boo. <laughs> All right, so what? How many packs have we done? Probably like five. Five packs down. We've got one trainer gallery, one V. So great hits, great hits. Give me a V Max or a Full Art. I think the only V Max I got last time was a uh, Kingler. We can do a prediction on this next pack if you guys would like to. We're getting on the TV, you're famous. Let's go! Kat, are you still visiting? Are you, are you are you like home in Canada? Don't you guys live in different areas? You and dogs now? All right, let's get it. I'm famous on the TV. Ooh, that clay doll be looking crazy. So we have a prediction for Charizard, but that will basically just mean we get to do one prediction for the day, I guess. But also, there's no specification on what shards are or anything. Starts with the next pack. I, mean, I was gonna say we could bet per pack, be like, will this one have a V or better? Freaking OBS is lagging. Get her, stop it. She always tries to get in the closet over there. Can sense all the alt art Charizards. I think the alt art Charizard is like 1 in 800 packs. Which is ridiculous. We got Roseanne's backup. And nothing. You know what really throws me off is sometimes reverses, like when you're holding two cards next to each other, the top of reverses have like a shine to it that makes you think there's something shiny behind it. But instead, they fucking trick you, and it's just like the, you can kind of see it there. It's just like the shiny flake coming through. So I've been pranked. All right, we do have a prediction going. We get in a V in this next pack. Will there be a V? I feel like the odds are pretty good. We've gone six packs with one V so far. And if these boxes are seated how you'd think, this, this has to be something, right? Just this next pack will do it on that. Have they changed the info on these things lately? Just noticed your little mushroom, MG. <laughs> He's chill. He's, uh... It was candies that came in this thing. A nice little container that I should put stuff in. Put my drugs in there. <laughs> it would be a fun little weed canister. Put my edibles in there. Alright. Let's go. It's time. Dog O'Neil, thank you for the bitty. We got both O'Neils here. Gotta perform. Will there be a V or better in this pack? Please? Give us something. Does that look like something in there? Not really. It can't. Doesn't look like it's in the. Oh, it was just this fucking thing. So these are just the V star things, and I guess I need to go three to the front now. I don't know. These these things are stupid. These are little V star markers. But I don't really know what the deal is with them. I guess they're still. It'd be funny if people got those graded. All right. Technically, there was a V. <laughs> it's just for playing the game. It's just a marker for when you have a V star out or something. I don't know. 
damn, damn. My V card is on display for the taking. I'd rather just have a card, yeah, for real. Aksu, look at this little baby. Aksu is, is such baby. Nose pass, chilling in the desert. Oh my god, this reverse tornadoes is very threatening. I don't like this guy's vibes. And it was a hollow bibero. <laughs> so, no V. So far, I've gotten absolute shit out of these packs, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I guess let's go through it. Let's break it down for you. So far, we have two regular holographics, one trainer gallery, Al gallery alchemy, and a V semi-seer. So if each pack costs like $4, I just spent a lot of money for fucking nothing. <laughs> Everybody says the hit rates are pretty good in this set. Which I guess the first box that I opened was decent, but it doesn't seem... Mantha is not home. She is currently at yoga. Promo, Bibarel card is worth something apparently. Really? People like Bibarel and uh, Bidoof now. Like, there's a ch there's a special delivery Charizard and Bibarel, or Charizard and Bidoof, that's actually, like, worth a ton. I think you could only get it from the Pokemon Center. Three and four, all right. Look like there's different colors on that. All right. The b from and the barrel movement is real. <laughs> All right. Fire energy. Give me a, give me an alt art Charizard in this pack, and I will eat this Tropius card. Live on stream. Recently sold my special delivery b for 160. Nice. Just raw. I don't know how good Crawdaunt was. It would taste. We got the crazy ass far fetched. We got the execute. Ooh, we got a reverse Mewtwo. This is a pretty dope card. I actually kind of like the reverse version of that. I feel like this would have been cool as just a normal hollow. Very cool art. And, wow. Both Mewtwo's in the same pack. It's a cool Mewtwo. I like it. Kind of funny getting the same card back to back in the reverse slot and the regular slot. Okay, so we're literally hat like hat like. Halfway through the first side. It's always the right side that's got the hit, I swear to god. We all really bred. Alright, let's see what the color of this code card is. Okay, so it's a white code card. I don't know if that means hit or not these days, to be honest. They're always they changed it up on us recently. But let's see, we got double energy. How many bits to bend a pack in half? Not enough. I've done that. I've only done that once. You think it's a hit, Mav? I believe. We got a kitty. Milkery is one of the weirder fucking Pokemon ever. Is it Milkery or Milsery? Milsery sounds weird. But it's fall. A beautiful fall day here, huh? Beautiful fall day. Okay, so we have a prediction going. I'm going to use it for the next pack. Will we get a V in the next pack is the prediction. Black is uh, supposedly the hit, but BRS can be either with a T. Oh, true. It's pronounced cum drop. Oh, you're right. Hey, kitties, stop it. Golit. We got Marnie's Pride and Luxray. So what the fuck is going on here? I thought that there was good cards in this set. <laughs> I feel, I feel gypped. Now I have a massive stack of cards that I just go put in a box and never do anything with. All right, so this prediction we currently have going will be for this pack. This is the one, and it's got a Charizard on it. This is your first booster box. Uh, this is my second booster box for Brilliant Stars. Da -da -da -da. The good card was in your heart all along. Fucking apparently, demon hours are always allowed in chat. So should I turn these down? These go down more. No, we're good. All right. B -b -b Boris, thank you for the good vibes. All right, let's see if this Charizard's got some good vibes for us, huh? Switching to singles. Oh, Kit's playing back there. Kit never plays. Okay, so apparently, do we just realize that blue or white code card means no hit? No stream delay on my TV, but on my phone, it's a minute behind. Yeah, for some reason, I think mobile has a, a bigger stream delay. I don't know why. Twitch mobile is kind of janky. This rule is premonition. Hey! Piss off! 
Can y'all stop it? They've been doing this to each other all fucking day. They just scream at each other. Stop. Literally go away. God damn it. We have a bunch of boxes that we've got recently. <laughs> Alright. As you can say, my box. It's only Kit that's a yapper. She literally fucking growls 90% of her day. That's a cool sneasel. We got a bee doof. Oh, okay, I already have this one. Damn it, I was excited for a second because it was really cool and colorful. Uh, but I already have this fucking one. But, looks like there's something shiny behind it, or is that just... No, nope, let's see. See how I'm faked out? Look at the top of this card. Does that not look like there's a crazy-ass sparkly fucking old-school EX card behind there? But no, it's just stupid as Electivire. It's the tips of these cards have nonsense on them, and they make you think that the one behind is going to be cool. Uh, but So that's a hit that I already had, which is hilarious because it's a pretty big set. What are the odds that I already fucking have this one? All right. I've only opened one box. I did open a, an Elite Trainer box as well. All right, the Discord server. Just the tip, you say. All right. <clears throat> Please give us a hit out of this left side. So we've still got, you know, six, seven, eight. Eight packs on the left side to open. So I'm going to start randomly. Apparently the odds are pretty good. I know, but I've opened ten packs and gotten one good card. So I don't understand. I thought it was like one in three to get... I mean, I guess I've gotten regular hollows too, but I'm, I'm thinking more on the on the lines of like freaking V's and V Max and stuff. Favorite pull, um, probably I think I got the EV, or no, I got the the gold Zapdos or Moltres. I don't remember which one it was. I got one of those last time. That's probably my coolest one. Of course, your va your vibes are bad, bro. I'm just kidding. I also got the Fire Monkey, which is basically negative one good card. <laughs> It's true. Cleansing gloves. We got floats will spin in his tails. His tail's about quick as hell. Propeller tail out here. I blame Mav. That's about the wackest sigilif sigilif art I've ever seen. They're like, what if we just take the PNG of the official art of the Pokemon and then just put like the tiniest bit of sand dunes back there and call it an art? That's a nice Piplup though. He do be building the snowman. <laughs> Kitty. We got a Duskull. We got a Sneasel. Monferno as the reverse. And I bet there's nothing behind here. <laughs> it's a fucking Breloom. So far, this is probably the worst booster box I've ever opened. I mean, we have one V and two character rares. But. I guess the alchemy is literally the only thing that's gonna like go in a binder. <laughs> the right side's gonna have something good, boys, I can tell. I mean, the alchemy is pretty cool, but it's also like a 95 cent card, so it's also not very crazy. Want the rainbow Charizard, the alt art Charizard, alt art Arceus, any of the gold cards, or any of the V stars? Brandon! What's good? Thank you for the resub, bro. Appreciate you using your Prime sub out here. <laughs> 95 cents richer. I don't know. I bought this box for like 140, so. Hey! Fucking stop! Those cats, I fucking hate those cats, I swear to God. My entire work day working at home is just basically breaking up cat fights the entire day. It's so annoying. <laughs> and then we're gonna have a small puppy, <laughs> which is gonna be way worse. Ah. <sighs> Starly. Ooh, I don't think I've seen Spirit Team yet. I'm truly the cat fight referee. They don't even fight, they just get an inch from each other's faces and then cat Kidder just yells. Alright, Spirit Tomb. We got a reverse nose pass and literally nothing. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I don't understand it, mate. <laughs> How am I down to like five packs in the first side? Cat politics. We can take bets. Do we want to do a prediction for this pack? We can do it. Please. God. Why are some packs harder to open the others? Red one will have a V. 
the red, the red one, the what? Oh, the red pack, the Charizard art right there. Kind of red. Take bets on the cats with the packs work too. <laughs> All right, are we gonna get? So this this says are we getting a V? But there's much more than Vs that we want. So if it's anything other than just a regular holographic, the answer will be yes. Three and four, which I'm feeling good about this one. I think I'm sure there'll just be like a double Lucario Hollow here. Eating pasta while watching a booster box opening stream is a vibe. <laughs> Eating pasta is most definitely a vibe. Most of the time I eat, I'm watching Pokemon card videos, I'm not gonna lie. Kindle. Perloin. Damn, I want tacos. I think we're gonna be getting uh, Chinese food today. Impidimp. Okay, this, this current prediction will be for this next pack. And Chino, and... Oh! The Shaman V Star. Ah! Shaman V Star. That's lit. So that is likely our V Star in the box. I don't think you're going to get more than one V Star in a booster box. But Shaman Skyform is a pretty chill guy. Centering on this is actually very nice. Maybe a little off top to bottom ish. Actually, almost looks a little tilted. But a very cool card. Revenge Blast. Alright. Let's fucking go, boys. So that's a big pull. We'll take those. We'll take those all day. We want the Charizard. We could still technically get an Alt Art. You're not guaranteed an Alt Art in a booster box, though. Uh, but at least, finally, the left side has provided us with a freaking hit out here. Now we'll go with this Charizard Art. Let's get it. Can we get two hits in a row? I feel like the hits are placed sporadically throughout this box. This got a V. Oh, it has a V star. The freaking V star card. I can now use this with my shaman. They make sure to give you like five of these out of every booster box for absolutely no reason at all. Okay. We got a prim plup just surfing it out here. Called this one at the start. All my homies do love cast form as well. There he is. Wow. How the hell did you know? Chimchar eating a pineapple berry and some nanobs. Get anything good yet? Hey! Muffin Goblin! Let's go! 24 months, a full year. <laughs> Thanks for the two years, bro. Uh, the only good thing we've got so far would be this Shaman V Star. Which isn't too crazy, but you know, I do like Shaman Skyform. It's a neat Pokemon that everybody kind of forgets about. Ding, bam, bam, bam. That was on the last pack we opened. I like to buzz and a hey, Hollow Empoleon. Okay, he do be kind of cool. Is he still surfing? It's hard to tell what's going on. I don't like the the new Hollow patterns. They they're like kind of weird. So that's the third regular hollow we've got. We only have one regular V. Two trainer rares and a V star. Dark Deco! Thank you very much for the resub as well, my friend. 11 months, let's go. Yeah, the vertical hollow patterns are not it, bro. The old school hollow patterns are certainly it. Also, hold on, check this shit out. I wanted to just show off my new, the mute that I got recently, but I grabbed a couple others. Check this bit, bad boy. You guys remember this as a kid, having this promo mute? PSA 10, let's go. Um, but like, look at this. Look at this hollow pattern, and then look at what they used to be. It's also hard to tell on the camera, but like, old school hollow patterns, way more lit. What about the Burger King cards? What Burger King cards? Oh, the, I have, yeah, I have like the Burger King Pokeball that has like the gold things in there. But I much enjoy the old school type of hollow compared to 
mean, you can see it better because it's not a PSA case on this. In person, it looks way better. <laughs> I can hardly even tell this one on the right's hollow, I guess. I have a jungle and a fossil pack now. I will open both of them if I pull a Charizard alt, alt art. Just kidding. I probably won't do that. But I like my new Mew. He's cool. Old hollow patterns are great. The base set two ones are even better. Compared to regular base set. How much is a 10? It's only probably like 60 bucks, which was very cheap. That's why I bought it. I got it for six, yeah, 60 bucks. Which I was like, there's no, a PSA 10 Blackstar promo Mew. It, the thing about that card is everybody has it. There's definitely a lot of them out there. But I just like it having it as a 10. So I was like, you know, I'll pick it up for 60 bucks. Fuck it. You can buy seal, still sealed promos of that for like really cheap. But I just figured I'd get a 10 and just hang on to it. I still have my childhood one in my old binder as well. All right. Got mine ungraded for like 20. Should have just got the PSA 10. Choice belt. It's a cool Luxio. Codfish. Ancient Muse sick too. You can actually get Ancient Muse for pretty cheap as well. Hello? Immort? Impident Mort. We're about to pull an alt art right here. Ah, oh, that's not an alt art. That choice belt in the Pokemon games. Alright, so we're down to three packs on the left side. Then we have the whole right side to go. I need to get myself an Ancient Mew. You do. You know what I kind of want to do? Hold on. Hold, please. Let us compare a raw vintage hollow to uh, a new vintage hollow just to see. Also, let me just do it to y'all one time. Fuck with me. Fuck with me. This is the sickest Blastoise. I really need a light shining on the cards. Let me find my, just a random vintage hollow in here. Where are they? Gotta find a cool one. I have literally a thousand of them in here. All right, this is just an example. Honestly, Fossil Ditto kind of looks lame, but. This is a pack fresh one that I opened when I had a booster box of Fossil. But like, I feel like that hollow pattern looks better having like the sparkles in like a flat pattern rather than these. I don't know, I guess this does sparkle a whole lot more. But this bad boy fresh though. I did it with some moves. For real. I pull him back in his sleeve in his top loader. These are all the cards that I just didn't send off to PSA to grade, but. Sucking Golden, thank you for the 75. They were, Gravy. Let's see what other ones I have in here. Oh, here's a fan favorite, boys. The Pinsir. Ditto beanbag chair would be lit. Let's take a look at this thing up close. Now this guy... Now that is a beauty of a card. I think I didn't send this one into grade because it has like a small... hollow scratch on there. But this was just open from, I had a jungle booster box. But this might be pretty fresh though, the centering is also off. Pretty much pack fresh, fresh, but the boy dick pinch though. I still have my 70 cards at PSA, and yeah, they've been there for like 400 days now. <laughs> they haven't even been graded. But this is a beautiful, beautiful card. Jungle pinch, it actually looks great in this lighting too. But yeah, it's like this. What do you like better, this or this? Definitely this. Way better. Yeah, I have most of my good hollows currently at PSA. <laughs> like the thicker borders on the Wizards of the Coast cards. Okay, one, one more from the random box of goodies. Look at this shit. I have some, like there's, just pull a random one out. 
Hollow Mach, let's go. Ooh, the Dark Persian, let's go. Bioplume from Jungle. Ooh, this is one of my favorite cards as a kid. I really like the colors. The color scheme in these ones is sick. Honestly, we should just do a stream where I just go through my old vintage ones. That is a beautiful Vaporeon. You really get it in like the right light. Mmm, she nice. I'm taking a trip down memory lane out here. I think I have, I had two of these. This is the worst condition one. And one of them is being graded. But I mean, you can tell. Oh, actually, that's fucked. Somebody took a fucking bite out of this card. What the hell? That's exactly why it's not being graded. Damn, that's unfortunate. Sometimes you pull a card literally directly from a pack and it just has a damn bite taken out of it, bro. There's a fun fact about Vaporeon that you guys may have heard. <laughs> that's a really fun one. Yeah, this is my box of like grade worthy cards at some point. I don't know. It's literally It's literally full to the brim. Some of some of it was Yu-Gi-Oh in here. But yeah, these are all Ideally I would have these all graded, but it's like nine hundred dollars per card. And now we get ourselves an alt art Charizard. Let's go. Bro, when I when I get my PSA submission back, I'm about to go crazy on stream, boys. I'm telling you. I like Vaporeon the most uh, three evolutions because the idea of fish mammal was cool to me. I liked Vaporeon because it was like he disappears when he goes in the water, and I thought that was sick. Alright, next, modern pack. It's gonna be a hit in this one. It's gonna be a trainer one, a trainer gallery. All right. Ooh, hit on top. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Crowd out. Also, how is the desktop audio too loud for you folks? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Maybe on my end, but this will be on the VOD channel. <laughs> we got a Starly. We got a Milsery. Milkery. Blast. Reverse Clang and Whimsicott V. So at least it's a V. We have two more packs on the left side and we're going to see which side does better. Left or right side. I'll keep the pile separate. This will be a science experiment for us. Last time right side was much better. Um, so far we've got this many actual hits from it. Left side. We have three regular hollows but we don't count those. Back in the day when getting just a holographic Pokemon card was the hit, that was... I feel like that was better. Now you get a holo and you're like, God damn it, you got nothing out of this pack. Why does Twitch show me ads of horror movies and shows? I don't know. But if you're a subscriber, you don't get ads here on Twitch. How pog is that? Alright, this one's a hit. This one's a hit for sure. Let's go. Oh... I can even see the coloration back there, holy shit. Maybe it's probably nothing. Every time I say that, I feel like it ends up being nothing. <laughs> but, let's see if it actually is something. Or if that's just the reverse. You think that's sparkling up at the top is just the reverse? Cubchoo. Duskull. It is just the reverse. This motherfucker Barry Faking me out all the time, bro. Oh, no, just kidding. It was Kindler. Holy shit, I thought it was this. We got a rainbow, but it's freaking Kindler. I thought it, the sparkling was on the top of the berry. <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, he actually has like a flame pattern. That's pretty dope, actually. Rainbow Kindler, okay. Got the texture on there. This is actually a, a nice... I mean, it sucks that it's Kindler, though. This has got to be, like, the worst rainbow to get. And now that's probably all the big hits out of this damn box, I feel like, bro. Actually, hold on. I should probably take a look at the backside of this fella. Let's take a look at your backside here, Kindler. Let's see what you're working with. I do like that the, the pattern is, like, flames and shit. The fire pattern is sweet. Oh, my God. The centering is just atrocious. Look at that. <laughs> for wondering what I'm talking about. This left border is huge. That one is not. This would not get anywhere close to a PSA 10. Was the center like that on the front, too? 
Oh, it is. Yeah, Jesus. The centering is horrible on the front as well. Man. You hate to see it. So, we get a, we get a rainbow kindler. But, the thrill of opening a card, a pack, knowing that there's going to be something in it, or at least thinking there is, is fun. Alright. Last pack on the left side, probably going to be nothing. Let's get it out of the way. PSA 6. Negative 1, for real. I'm, I would even go as far as to say PSA negative 6. Hoed by quality control. <laughs> Straight up. Three and four. All right. Can this last pack miraculously have something in it? I don't know if the rainbow rare takes the slot of a like a secret. I feel like it does. Rainbow rares are probably like the hit of the box. Suck. Codfish. Golit with his friend. Floatzel and Motham. Enthused. We just got a rainbow rare. Uh, so that is going to conclude our left side of the box. Now, we're going to go through everything we got on there. We got the Rainbow Kindler. We got a Whimsicott V. I did get the Shaman V-Star. I think I like the Shaman V-Star better than the Rainbow Rare, because Shaman Skyform is sweet. Gotten both in a box before. Nice. Uh, we did get two Trainer Galleries. So the Alchemy and the Oranguru is the one I already had. But this one, honestly, this Oranguru art is sick. And we're just chilling in her van on her hammock. Just vibing. But not bad hit so far. We'll take these two fellas, and we'll just leave you guys out for the the world to see. Okay. We've got a prediction going. It'll go for this next pack. This pasta sauce is busting. Damn, I want some pasta. I'm going to take a pack from the middle. So this is going to be completely random. Will there be a V or better in this pack? Get your predictions in. What do you think? I'm going to say no. Yeah. What up, Trample? The ring art is sweet. Those trainer those trainer cards are honestly the trainer the character rares or whatever they're called are honestly like my favorites in this set. Three and four. I bet everything on this? Oh shit. Alright. Got toast that is mad French. <laughs> I love French toast. Roseanne's backup. Look at all that text. What is this? A Yu-Gi-Oh card? Oh you get to just choose one. Shuffle a Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Shuffle a Pokemon tool card from your discard pile. I feel like that's a pretty good card to have in your deck. You just do a bunch of shit with it. I don't know. We got a Twig. We got a Sneasel. I feel like I've seen most of the commons and uncommons. We got a Reverse Ultra Ball. And a another Mothim. Dude, that's two <laughs> rares in a row that have been Mothim. The hell is Pokemon Company's obsession with Mothim these days? He was in, it's all over Legends Arceus. Fancy Ultra Ball. There's a there's a gold version of that Ultra Ball in this set. Alright, now we're gonna take this first pack. Full first pack. L plus ratio plus Mothim. <laughs> For real. Clearly a Mothim VMAX for my tails. <laughs> All right, two, three, four. Give us something good. I'm really feeling that Arceus alt art for some reason. Oh, Marnie just fell. Also, this Marnie card feels, it feels different. I don't know why. He doesn't have his gloss on it or something. This whole pack feels weird. I don't know. I'm probably just tripping. A little chime echo, oh. Chimchar and the reverse is the cast form. We're just just cruising out, balls hanging. Cast form is. He says, you know what? I just let him hang out here. And the rare is an escalade. Chris the wise, of course we can, bro. Da, 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 da. Got my little pile of reverses going here. I collect, I save all my reverses and keep them in a separate pile, so one day I can turn in like five thousand reverses for like a cent each. All right, let's go. It's very satisfying opening packs. I'll, but I'll, I'll let you guys know that it's, it's very much ASMR for me to just even open them. Okay, there's something in this one. I'm gonna say it's probably a regular V. Nope, it was that. I saw that. I saw that, and it bamboozled me. It's just this fucking V Star card. Grab the packs open like a savage. I am a savage. Did I do? I did do fourth one. Okay. 
All right, we got Barry. We got a Clang. We got a Gabite. Chimcha. Baltoy. Baby Axu. Nose Pass. We got a Snow Runt. The reverse is Burmy. All three of the Burmies. Look at these. Look, a couple of guys being dudes. More than a couple. Just, just some, some guys being dudes. Just, just hanging out per se. And it is a V. Wow, I was right. It's a Mimikyu. All right. What a cool Pokemon Mimikyu is. Centering's still not perfect. Speaking of Savage, I can't believe you named Bessie on Trump on a fifth. I thought it was funny, bro. Alright. So at least we've got another V. That's at least something. Also, I really like these sleeves. These are kind of cool sleeves. I'll tuck you away. I'm actually going to put... So let's see. I'm going to put all these hits that we had on the left side. Here on the left. Every hit we get on the right side, we'll have on the right. And we'll see which side is better at the end. Chad gave me a stack attack named Trump's Wall. <laughs> All right, give us something nice. I've been a very good boy. Nothing better than just sitting back, opening a full booster box. L pl <laughs> ratio plus didn't ask plus cry about it plus statement. <laughs> Got to know what the hell. I like to imagine you just typing that out rather than copy pasting. Look at this Starmie, just chilling on the beach, bro. Why did why does this want to be Alola so bad? I do like breakfast for dinner. I'm actually a pretty big breakfast guy. Breakfast foods are the best kind of food. Not really, but you know. Heatran. That is a wild perspective of Heatran. I don't know if I like it. Oh. Okay. I already have this. <laughs> I can't believe I've pulled this twice. The Argus V Star. So we did get two V Stars out of a box. Uh, that's a pretty big one, though. This is actually, I think, like a thirty-dollar card at the time, at the moment of this recording. But I like it. Maybe I sell it since I have two. Highest bidder in chat gets it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but that's a sick. This is a sick ass card. Look at that texture. Ooh. Three beans? Make it four and you got a deal. I right, said so that's probably the best hit out of the box so far, even though we have a rainbow that probably beats it. Very nice. Very nice. All right, right side showing promise so far. We've got a regular V and an Arceus V star card, which is great. Now... Let's see if we can get a damn Charizard. I got a regular Charizard V out of the last box I opened, but it's on for 60-ish. Oh shit, I gotta sell that baby quick. Get a half my money for this box back. Give the Russell Wilson trade package for that big boy. <laughs> we love Russell Wilson. All right, how many V-Bucks for a Robux? I have no idea what Roblox is, but I swear to God I've seen the memes a thousand times. I honestly, like, is it Minecraft for VR, or what the hell is Roblox, bro? We got a squawk. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it's gonna be anything good in this pack. I feel like we just got something good, so there's never two good packs next to each other. It's the way she goes. Do they even, you know what I thought about? Do they even have booster boxes in stores anymore? Like, can, do they have this on display and you can just, like, go grab a pack? I feel like you only can get, like, the blister packs with, like, the full cardboard on them these days. It's like a single pack. MMO aimed at kids where you can build your own games and stuff. Interesting. Do a Roblox stream TV. <laughs> what if I just got really into Roblox? Would that be fun? Oh, yes, we got Dusknor and Morty. And a Haxorus, but that is the star of the pack there, boys. Look at my boy Morty. Channeling with his Dusknor. Okay, now this is opening's getting fun. I've got some good stuff now and I'm happy. Super cool card. These character arts, train. I think it's, I believe it's called Trainer Gallery. TG06 out of TG30. So there's 30 Trainer Gallery cards. I have one double with the Oranguru, but it's pretty dope. That's a cool card. That's probably 
I think I got, I don't remember which ones I got last time, to be honest. I think the last box I got the Eevee, and then I got like Flareon or something. One of them had like Blue or Gary in it, which is sweet. All right. Right box, right side box is firing up. It's firing up. Oh, we do have a prediction going. Are we getting a V in this pack? What do you think? I teach students, and they're also into Pokemon card collecting. I told them about the Gen 9 starters. One of them literally fell off their chair in excitement. <laughs> I love kids that are really into Pokemon. One time, me and Sam were... We were at the mall with her parents. Um, and there was, like, some little kid that her mom was talking to. And he was like... She's like, what are you into? I bet you're into dinosaurs. And he was like, I like Pokemon. And I was like, me too. And he's like, I do Pokemon cards. And I was like, I love Pokemon cards. And he was telling me all about it. It was so cute. Docs and I'll thank you for the video. He was like, he was like, my dad one time, we, we took, he took me and we got, uh, we got a Charizard. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. I was like, I have a PSA 10 first edition Team Rocket Dark Charizard plus ratio plus L. <laughs> Magmar burning the fucking forest down. Ryalu. We got Chimeco. And is there a V in here for the folks at home? Nope. <laughs> but there's a Hollow Moltres. That's a Hollow Chicken right there. I've seen him before. I got him. I got him right here. Bet you guys can't even tell the difference between these two chickens. Well, another regular Hollow will put you over on the right side. Talking about spicy KFC, boys. Why does my lights seem like they're very bright today? Go lower. Lower. Still just looking just red. Whatever. Alright. <clears throat> this. This right here. Is the pack. I'm feeling it. Damn, I would love me a Popeye's chicken sandwich right now. Three, four, eight. One of the mods gotta do the outcome. There we go. All right. We've got fighting energy. We've got some friends in Galar. <laughs> this card makes me angry. And the reason is because there's multiple cards in this set that do the same thing. There's like a berry card that says draw three cards. There's like a full art berry card that says draw three cards. They just they just double dip onto different arts when it's the same thing. I don't even play the game, but for some reason I'm like, why does there, does there need to be 10 different draw three cards cards, you know? How many pot of greeds y'all have to have out here? Purloin, we got a magma basin, and nothing. That's fine. I don't know what pot of greed does. Never heard, never seen it before. Guys, I know, get out of here with the fucking Trump coffee pots. <laughs> Alright, we're getting down to the last half of this side, I think. Gravy, appreciate you, bro. You're always doing boarding. Do you snowboard every day, Gravy? I'm jealous. New Hayden meme just dropped. Okay. <laughs> Take a shot every time there's no V? Damn, you would be fucked up. We've only gotten two Vs. <laughs> the dude, the Trump copy pasta. Here's the, here's the backstory behind the Trump wall. I named my Bastiodon Trump because he's a fucking wall. And I got like multiple comments in my video, and someone said, <laughs> "Trump wall joke seems in poor taste, on top of being really dated." Miss for me. And his, in the guy's username was uh, like, buttqueef or something. <laughs> and I responded, and I was like, "Damn, you know when you've offended someone named buttqueef? I've really fucked up." <laughs> Sock. We got a Haxorus and an Altart Charizard. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm not going to change it, no. Listen, I don't change for the YouTube commenters, okay? What do I look like? Some type of sellout? We got Worm Adam. We also have a new prediction. We'll be, be getting a V in this next pack. This one feels heavy. This feels 
like there's some weight to this fella. <laughs> let's see, we got a couple seconds for the prediction to go through. But let's see if your boy can do it. Tail up to 100k. We've had that happen a few times. It's hard to get it up there. Watch the person that made that comment come to the chat right now. <laughs> I wish they would. I didn't mean to offend with it, you know? We have like a poor taste username. Like I can't tell if they're a Trump supporter. Hey, B Rich with a 38. Let's go, bro. That's a long ass time. B Rich, thank you, man. Shout out to Brandon. Oh, this one's for you. There's a hit in this one. Ah! It's a flag on V. I was really hoping it was going to be like something crazy. But that's pretty lit though. I have not seen this card yet. Let's go. He do be got his, he got his sand goggles on. He'd be flying around. All right, so, so far, let's get a little recap on what we've got on the right side and we'll compare it to what we've got on the, the full left side to see which side's gonna come out on top. So we got one V, the hollow doesn't count. So basically, four hits, two Vs, but this hit kind of makes up for the whole thing. So we have essentially four hits on the right side, whereas on the left side, we were working with three, four, five, six. So if we can get at least two more hits out of this many packs, Right side's gonna win, and I believe it won last time for us too. Left side, I got two more regular hollows though. So the data's skewed. I'm at zero tails, please donate, guys. <laughs> Everybody point and laugh, Dog Snow has no tails. If you're watching this on YouTube wondering what the fuck the predictions and stuff are, we have a, a Twitch currency called Slowpoke Tails. Uh, you, you accumulate tails by just watching the channel, but also you can bet on stuff and win more. Alright. Big boy pack. Give me another character art. I want the Houndoom. I, f I feel like I see everybody else pull the Houndoom. I ain't never get one. We have another prediction going as well. We gambling. We getting a V in this pack? It's got a water energy. That's always a good sign. We gotta lick the water energy to bring the luck. Gotta make the rules. Um, Blum told me to do that one time. <laughs> I bet my one tail. <laughs> Lulz. Young Plup. Young Twig. I don't know if, is this prediction, is it just started now? Oh geez, I thought it was already done. For some reason, I thought that the other one was showing that it ended. Or showing that a new one started, but it was the other one ending. My bad. We got a new prediction in. Get your tails in real quick. We're getting a V. We got 12.8 for no. So if there is a V and you vote yes, you literally will win a lot of Slowpoke Tails here. The Weasel. I don't feel like... Oh, it's for the next pack? Okay, so it's not this pack then. Team Yells Cheer. And yeah, there wasn't one in this one. <laughs> All right, next, this pack is what counts for the prediction, boys. There's not many people that have said yes. Holy shit, you guys are about to win a lot if you voted yes. Let's go. 1.1K to 12K. 12K says no V in this pack. Two, three, four. I am always a doubter. <laughs> This dude just be steady down. You know what we need to do? Let's switch up the lo-fi. I like this one. Shout out to Game Chops on YouTube. It's a banger of a song. It's gonna happen. Double turbo. Probably passes those weird little minions. Plup. Grimmer. Oh, fucking Grimer and the Clefairy. I don't think I've seen this Clefairy yet. How is that possible? I'll be broke if there is one. Please. Ah, there wasn't, but it was regular hollow. The dust noir to go with my character gallery. Lower, me, lower the music a tad, my bad. Remember when Clefairy was a rare hollow? Yeah, why did they make Clefairy a rare in base set? 
How random was that? And you rip a Halucha card in half. It's tradition. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I won six tails, let's go. <laughs> Damn. How terrifying is the guy in the background on the left? <laughs> his Kindler? He do be kindling back there, though. Teased. <laughs> Rip the rainbow? Never. Dog, thanks for the bit. <laughs> the rip bit. All right. This one, this pack here, has something in there. Do we see any coloration? No, there's nothing in there. I really would like to get a uh, like an offside or off center card, like a really off center one one time miscut. Because sometimes you can get a card where it's so miscut you can see like uh, the other card on the sheet. We got a magma basin. We got a Ghibli. Trap inch execute. Starly. Very angry shroomish. We got a reverse plop and a magma order. Ain't nothing in that pack, man. We are struggling ever since, I guess for the past couple packs, but got all these reverses. What do you guys do with your bulk? Do you guys turn it into game shop, card shops? Really got to do that at some point. All right, we got six packs left. I'm going to take the last, actually we'll save the last pack. Last pack's always, always fun. Yeah, sometimes you can, you, I mean, you can turn it in bulk. You can get like five cents per card. Something like that. Gave mine to a friend who actually plays a TCG. That's very nice of you. I have like a damn 50 pound box full of my bulk now. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's like 20 cents for like a reverse. Maybe not even that much. Nas, what's good? Three and... Got the stupid V thing again. I think you're guaranteed four of these in a box. We've got three. All right, we got a clang, we got a gibite, we got a torkoal, dedene. Well, that's binder of reverse hollows, time to get rich. I have literally, I probably have like 700 of the fucking things. Reverse hollows are a fun thing for me to have stacks of because it's like every one of these represents a pack that I've opened. <laughs> and it's, it kind of like makes you check your, uh, your addiction. All right, Magmortar Reverse, and a Lipard. Why, why Lipard are rare? I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool art. But mostly nonsense. Five packs to go. Can there please be an, ah, fuck. Can there please be an alt art in this? Boy, would that be nice. I've gotten one alt art in my life, and it was a Duralodon. Not the best one. Fish, what is good? She has a live question mark. Bidoof. Buzz. Lucha. Buizel. Oh, we got Ariados. Do I have the Ariados? I've seen people with open this card so many times that I can't remember if I opened it or if someone else did and I watched it. Uh, but that's cool though. We like that. Can there be a double banger in this pack? No, there cannot. Just a fucking Alchemy. Hey, look, it's the same guy from the... Hold up, we're gonna have to examine that for a sec, but let's admire this area dose real quick. Which trainer is that again? Also, we have a new prediction on the next pack, boys. Is that Jasmine? Janine. Jasmine? It's not Jasmine. It's for sure not Jasmine. Okay, so I want to look at so this alchemy goes with this card. Is that the same guy? It is. So on this one, she's like going out to get something, a berry or something. And then on the, all, the full art, it's being served. Bam, bam, bam. 
Getting a ride home tonight is so bad that we couldn't stop and almost ran into someone. Jeez, is it snowing a lot, fish? Because I'm going up there on Friday. Pog. I might be meeting fish in person on Friday or Saturday. I will bring you a signed Pokemon card in my pocket. Snow be dangerous for real. All right, fire energy means that there's going to be an alt art Charizard in here. I do not make the rules, folks. See, there's Barry. He's draw three cards, too. So much snow? Fuck yeah. Bring me the powder. We got a Mancino. We got a ball toy. Snow rent. The dude's still in your attic? What? Electivire. And nothing. Just fucking muck in his big slime cock again. Did you guys have mega plans to visit New York? I've never been to New York before. I've never really been on the East Coast. Pulled the full art Marnie yesterday. That is a great one. People love Marnie. Alright. We're down to three packs left, ladies and gents. What a muck card for real. Fan meetup with the Broncos opener this year. Dude, it's going to be so expensive. I would love to get some Broncos tickets this season, though. Down, 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 down. All right. Come to Boston. It sucks. But I can put you up. Let's go. I got people. Go, Bills. Psh. All right. There's going to be a hit in this one. I can feel it. There's got to be one hit left in these last three packs. Two, three, four. Give me another character art. Dusclops. Starmie. Cynthia's Ambition. We got Chub Cub Chew. I know where to take it if he comes here, to be H, honestly. <laughs> where? Farfetched. Duskull. We got the Grimer. Reverses Probo Pass. The back alley. And then, oh, Zamazenta V. Okay, so there was at least one more V left in there for us. <sighs> it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting the any of the cards I wanted. I literally don't think there's anything I got in this box that I didn't have already, and I've only opened one fucking box already, so what the hell? I mean, there's some things, but like... Nothing really of value. So far on the right side of the box, we're definitely winning with this Arceus V-Star. Look at that bad boy. Mm. So far, pretty good. I mean, overall, pretty good amount of hits in this one box, but just nothing like great. Slowpoke tails taste like pork. I can see it. I can see it. All right, now my floor is covered in freaking pack trash. Hopefully, there's somebody getting the codes out of these. Four. I keep saying how I want to try to play the game, but then I just give away all my code cards. <laughs> Fracture. Team Yells Cheer. Cheruby. I always forget the Team Yells even a thing. It's been so long since I've turned my Switch on and played Sword and Shield. <laughs> Pork that's been sitting in musty seawater for years. <laughs> Reverses the twig. And there's going to be a hit here. Hey, It's a Torterra Hollow. Yoke Master. Thank you for the sub, my dude. Appreciate you. He, you heard the man. Sub to Hayden with Twitch Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you literally are obligated to do so under contract. So use your Twitch Prime on my channel. But I like the Torterra. He's cool. Okay. One pack left. It's going to have the Alt Art Charizard in it. Or a rainbow. I don't make the rules. Two rainbows in one box? Question mark? Wouldn't that be nice? Give me some last pack magical. Okay. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, hey, just to hit the prime sub. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. We got a Mancino. We got a ball toy. Snow runt. Nose pass. 
Milsery, Carablast, and nothing. Damn it. That is it for the packs, boys. But I think the right side of the box won. Boom. So, whole entire booster box. I didn't get anything of value that I didn't already have. Uh, so, let's count. Right side has one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Left side has one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So, equal. But this one had a rainbow, so it's probably better. Time to flex my old cards in packs. I could do a little bit of flexing if you guys would like. Let's go through. So this is, uh, so I mean I got regular hollows as well. These are just the reggie hollows. As you can see, they're not that cool. Bam, bam. But, let's take a look at the full list of hits that we got. So this Argus V-Star is a big one. Um, Flygon V, we got Morty, does it? I mean, I like having the Morty. Alchemy was a new one, already had the Oringaru. Did get a Rainbow Kindler. Did get a Rainbow Kindler. So that's pretty chill. And the Shaman V-Star is one that I didn't have already. So that's kind of nice. Whimsicott and a semi V. So, overall, the hits out of the box would be... These three cards. This is pretty much where I'm going to get all my value out of this box. But, none of them are great. I mean, probably what, like $50 worth of cards right here? 60 maybe? I think it pays for like half the box. Honestly, this set isn't that bad for just opening and trying to resell cards. I'm not going to sell anything, obviously. Because I just like collecting them, boys, but it is fun. All right, let's, um, so if you guys want to take a look at kind of just some of the stuff that I have in my, in my, like, chest of actual nice cards, we can go through some of them. A lot of these are just random like first edition bulk of like starters and shit that I have. But let's actually, let's take a look at, the, I feel like this stack is going to be nice. This right here is a pretty nice stack. Um, maybe we'll add on to it a little bit with those. All right, let's see what, let's see what's in these. I went through these kind of recently on a Discord stream. It was not a toot, it was me opening my box. I did not fart. Got the Haunter Hollow, which has always been weird because you can hardly tell the guy's hollow. Oh, this is a lit one. Check out this Eevee. It's got the blue, red, and yellow for his initial forms. Very cool promo. I actually bought this on eBay. Like a long time ago when I was into opening Pokemon cards. And it's actually in like really good condition. I'd say it's probably like a PSA 8 or 9. But it's pretty solid. Kind of rare to find. I mean, it's definitely got a scratched hollow. So it's not probably grade worthy, but I think I thought it was a cool card at the time, so I just wanted it. The Eeveon does look like a Flareon, <laughs> real. Straight up Flareon Eevee. Uh, There's a random promo Mewtwo. I don't even remember what that's from. Shining Magikarp Hollow is lit. This is another one that I bought just on eBay. Creech, we did not really get any good pulls. Shining Magikarp. This is just a unlimited version from one of the Neo Discovery, Neo Destiny, one of the Neos. I don't know. Beautiful card though. Shining Magikarp is one of my favorite Shining Pokemon, so you know I had to cop that. Damn, damn. Trash won a shit ton of tails. How much did you win, bro? This is a random ass VMAX Pikachu. I don't know why that's in this pile. There's like, it's like random vintage and then also new shit. There's a Charizard Reshiram. There's a Charizard EX. I think that's from Evolutions. And then you get into an absolute banger of a Raichu. This is um, from Legendary Collection, one of the most expensive booster boxes that I opened back in the day. Look at this hollow though. This boy, it's all fucked up. This, I think this thing as a PSA 10 sells for like four grand. Uh, but the reason is because it's extremely hard to get as a 10. It always has ho hollow imp uh, imperfections. You can see the vertical lines right there. So I didn't get this one graded, um, but I mean, it's a great copy. 
Probably a PSA 9. Probably should have gotten it graded, but I had already sent like 70 cards at 20 bucks each, so I spent like two grand on that shit. <laughs> I was like, I can't really afford to send more of these damn things in. Got a first edition Dark Vile Plume. Probably gonna be leaving most of these in there. Card savers, but. Quality hollow there. A lot of it's gonna be first edition uh, Team Rocket because I opened two booster boxes of that. I should be looking for swirls. There is a swirl on this one right here. You can hardly tell. Cards even moved into grading yet? Uh, yeah, they're in grading, but they've been in the grading category for like three months. This is actually a sick hypno card. Hold up. This hypno card is slept on, bro. Look at this. The, all, the art on this thing is crazy. Like, why did they put the eyes there and shit? It's creepy, but it's really cool. And it's, of course, freaking mint condition, bro. I'm talking about mint condition. Just pulled that thing from a pack from my booster box seven years ago when I was into it, and then I put it in a sleeve. <laughs> it's almost a Yu-Gi-Oh card. We got a dark gold bat. First edition, he is hollow. It's hard to freaking tell. Another dark Arbok. Two of these. All the rocket ones are first edition. There's another gold bat. <laughs> Oh, there's a sick swirl on this guy right by his face. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Another Dark Hypno. Jesus Christ, I have a lot of doubles. I opened two booster boxes of rockets. I mean, there's a lot of doubles. Here's a first edition. Here comes Team Rocket. Now, this one is funny because it's hollow, but it's literally only right there. And I have two of them. <laughs> Lols. Arkadol, thanks for stopping by, bro. Appreciate you. I've got two hollow Dark Weezings. This is one that's also very funny because it's holographic, but like you can really not tell. <laughs> Here's an absolute banger. Now I think, kid, did you send this to the PO box? Someone sent this to the, to the PO box because it has the pull tab on it. I haven't pull tabbed the rest of these. I pull tabbed some of them, but sick ass card. One of my favorites. That's actually one that in my team rocket boxes, I didn't get. I opened two, I opened 72 packs of Team Rocket, first edition, and I didn't get a hollow slow bro. Now a kid sent me one and I got one, bro. Okay, so now some of these are gonna be just a lot of duplicates. So this is like Dark Jolteons. I'm sure I probably have like a thousand of these in here. They're, they're all kind of not organized, but there's three of them right there. Um, yo, trampled by Squirtles. Let's go, what's good? Thank you for the 500. What card did you send with the socks? I forgot. Here's that uh, Vaporeon we were looking at earlier. You gonna game tonight? Probably not. We're just gonna be... I just wanted to open up my booster box and just chill. No gaming. There's that Pinsir. Here's a Legendary Collection Reverse Hollow Grimer. Here's that Ditto that I showed earlier. Now we've got a bunch of first edition Flareons. Literally a grip of these guys. These things actually sell for like over a hundred dollars as PSA 10. So I sent at least one or two of like all the evolutions in. Look at how many of these I fucking have. And then it goes into Vaporeon as well. But these were just uncommons in the set. So I have a lot of them. There's like a random ass reverse Vaporeon. This is a funny one because people were able to find the stock imagery Pokemon used for the background of a lot of the card arts back in the day. And like this one's a very obvious one. Like what a shitty art. <laughs> <laughs> Not the need Reno. Love the nostalgia. Ryan, man, thank you for stopping by, bro. I also have the Haunted. This is one of my cooler ones. I have the Dark Blastoise reverse of this that I sent into PSA. It has a print line on it, so it'll probably get like a 9, but still kind of cool. There's a tentacle. Sent a non-Hello Dark Slowbro. Can't find my original collection, which of course would be worth thousand. I think it might be in here somewhere. This is a crazy-ass Golduck card. So, like, let's, like, let's make Golduck very threatening looking. And then the Butterfree. See, these are these. What sucks about these cards is there's like always a fucking print line right there. You can see it. Reverse hollows are extremely gnarly. They've never done anything like these since. So these are very much unique. I don't have. What sucks is that like I opened obviously I have 36 of these somewhere, but the ones that I've shown here are the only ones that I could find. There's a Legendary Collection, collection Mewtwo. This was sent as a promo, I think, in Japan, but in English, I think it was just in in this set as a regular rare. There's a Reverse Graveler. Then, here's one that's interesting because I never opened any first edition fossil, but I have a Hypno. 
I don't know, like someone must have sent this to me at some point many years ago. But it's actually in good condition. Older, older reverse hollows are sick. Those are, the, those are the first reverse hollows. Samantha texted me. Bam. I probably gotta stop streaming soon. We gotta get food. There's a magneton. We'll go through this stack. Another first edition fossil hollow, like the Lapras. Where the hell did I get this? I know I don't feel like I opened first edition fossil as a kid. Base set Hitmonchan. Can't go wrong with just a base set card, boys. Here's just another fossil hunter. Here is. Here is a Charizard from my childhood collection. And it's actually not in horrible condition. It's definitely not in great condition, as you can tell, like the top edges and stuff. But there's another one in here that my dog got as a kid, and fucking, <laughs> there's teeth marks in it. <laughs> Which is hilarious. But this one's actually not in bad condition. I probably should have graded this one, but it would probably get like a six or a seven. There's some imperfections on it. It's quite a bit wrong with it. It looks better on camera than it does in real life. Hopefully that other Charizard's in here. There's a fossil muck. He's saying, sup. Get the puppy one graded for memes. <laughs> Got the dark Persian. This is another one that's very hard to grade. I think this one is actually worth a lot if graded in a 10, but it's very hard. And that one has print lines. This is my favorite style of old school Pokemon cards, where it's literally just like a Pokemon on like a green background. <laughs> like, Look at my dude. He's just vibing. This one's actually pretty nice though. I probably should, there must be, no, there's a print line right there. If I can, you'll see it. Literally didn't send this one in to get graded because there's a print line on it. So all of the ones that I sent didn't have really anything that I could see as imperfections on it. Also Pidgeot, another sick ass card. This looks like a, this looks like an American traditional tattoo. Really lit. Got the electrode. Kanga. It's like an eyelash on the fucking guy. I think Venomoth is funny. He's just staring. Go Fable. I know I have a couple of these at PSA currently. Wigglytuff. I always liked this Wigglytuff art too. I don't know what it is about cards that just had like a random blotches of yellow in the background and just mostly... I like normal type hollows because they're so clean. Like normal type cards, the hollow is just very much like a mirror. And like look, just look at how sick that looks. This is a very cool art. Wigglytuff not the coolest guy, but I like the hollow on him so I... He's one of my favorites. Also got the Mr. Mime. Let's go. Another Kanga. I didn't realize I had two jungle Kangas. Oh, another, another Wiggly. Got a base set Raichu. I don't know why this isn't grading right now. Oh, that's probably why. That little white right there. This motherfucker came out the pack with a nick on him. Want to get my Mew cards graded? Do it. Oh, here's another one that Kitamori sent, I believe. This is the McDonald's Slowpoke from a long time ago. This is one of my favorite cards I have now. This thing is lit, bro. Where did you get this? I've never, I'd never seen this card until you sent this to me. I was like, the hell is this? It's a e-reader set, so it's from the days of what Sky Ridge and uh, Aquapolis or whatever. Let me put this thing in there better. I, sh I really need to pull tab all my other cards. It's really easy to take them out. <clears throat> but I have the pull tabs. I've just been too lazy to do it. Here it is. Here's oh this Charizard's base set too. What up, Blondie? Let's so check this bad boy out. Also, this sleeve is fucked up. I'm gonna resleeve this guy. So look at this thing. Is wait, this one doesn't have the teeth marks in it either. But this thing's fucked up. Like what the hell was I doing? Oh God. You hate to see it, bro. You truly just, you hate to see it. Poor guy. How are you opening to? We're almost done, Samantha. I'll go pick up the food here in a minute. I haven't ordered it yet. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I have not ordered it yet. Oh, God. I'm gonna freak out. Fuck, I've only been live for an hour and a half. I'm sorry. I gotta order the food. I'm in trouble, as I'm hastily putting my Zard in the thing. Hold on, let me... 
I was gonna do it, but I'm using the camera as my iPhone as the camera law. All right, let's look at the last of these cards. We got a Venusaur. This one's also fucked up from my childhood. Look at that bend in it right there. What the hell? Talking about Hitmon Lee. Base set two Gera. <laughs> Base set two Alakazam. Base set two Hollows are lit. Base set two Hollows just look great. Ooh, there's a base set two Mewtwo as well. Very similar guys right here. It's just normal Venusaur. Normal base set Venusaur. Base set two Scyther. Base set two Raichu. What's the place called again? It's called Tai Panda, Sam. Ooh, look at that Clefairy. Look at that swirl on my dude. Nothing scarier than a hungry girlfriend, for real. Base set two Needle Queen. These are all. Pretty much for the most, it's called Thai Panda. Base set two Wigglytuff. And then, base set two Pidgeot. So as you can see, that is my stack of that. And then I have that much more in here in terms of stuff that I wanted to get graded or whatever. It's called, what doesn't sound right? It's called Thai Panda. Anyway. This has been fun. I wish I would have gotten one of my chase cards in the damn booster box, but you know, it's not the way it goes. Sometimes she don't go, sometimes she does. Also, can we admire how sick this dark Charmeleon art is? I literally have like 20 of these, all mint. First edition, boy. Jungle and fossil packs where? Should I open them right now? Should I open them up? I'll do it. Just kidding, I will not do it. Because I'll probably just get... I mean, even if you get a hollow out of it, it's still worth so much more seals. <laughs> Good job, Creech. Casanale said open them, so... I guess I gotta open them. Okay, hold on, let me just put these back for a second. Order the food so I can go get it. Oh fuck, okay, I, I can go get it, it's gonna be a while. Boom. Okay, hold on, let me switch to Cam. I'm gonna order Sam's food so she doesn't hate me anymore. <laughs> and then I'll open my fossil and jungle packs. Psych, you wish. Oh God, she's calling me. Hello? Hey. <coughs> um, can you just text me what you want so I can just order it and I'll just wait there? Yes. That would be great. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Love Bye. you. Bye. Let's go, boys. I can't use a phone case because on my little tripod, it doesn't let me use my case on it. Okay, what do I want from this Thai place? I want... Hold on, let me find the menu. This song is a banger, though. Should you get some Thai food? That'd be a good idea. I wish I had a way to plug this thing in. It's a light, but it doesn't plug in. Menu, okay, hold on, hold please. I am gonna be getting probably, uh, oh shit. Dun, dun, dun. I want the peanut curry, hold on, Thai curry, no drunken noodle, Thai curry noodle with chicken, yes, let's go. Alright, oh, <clears throat> I just texted it to you. I know, I just realized I don't have my wallet, can you do the stupid online order? Okay. I would have if I wasn't driving. Okay, I got you. What did you want? Um, the orange chicken with, fri with rice. Okay. And then you can pick a side of um, a, an egg roll in it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So sorry. It's all good. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm, I'm, pan I'm, I'm panicking. Tarakari noodle. Is this even what I want? 
With chicken and shrimp. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. All right, we're good. Add that bitch to cart. And then Samantha wanted... What did she say? <laughs> she wanted the orange chicken. Don't have wallet. Sure. She wanted the orange chicken. She almost you know, sour orange chicken. Side of egg rolls. I don't know what kind of rice and shits you want. There's so many different... Brown rice, extras, non meat, orange chicken, spicy, mild. Okay. Um. It's a medium rare chicken. She said it comes with egg rolls, but that's not an option on here. Sam, are you watching? I truly don't know. I also don't really know why I'm still streaming, but... It doesn't have the option to just add egg rolls to it, but it, do I go to the top at appetizers? It does in the meal. Well, it didn't when I added it to the cart. I guess it'll just come with it. I don't know. I clicked General Sour Orange Chicken. I clicked that. Brown rice. Extras. Add fried noodles, hot pepper oil, or homemade mustard. That's the only thing. And then it says, Orange Chicken, mild, medium, or hot. I do mild, quantity one, and that's it. Delivery charge. I'm not trying to deliver, bro. Fuck. Pick up. Wendy's Nuts. Okay, am I on the right? Am I good here? Thai curry noodle, generous summer chicken. I'm just gonna do that. What was the last time? I don't, know. I don't think I'm doing it wrong, but. I'm just streaming me ordering food. This is inconvenient. This website was also built in fucking 1989. <laughs> I should like log into my fucking account on here and shit. I'm inventing a new genre. Then it'll be mukbang stream. Just kidding. I gotta find my fucking credit card, bro. <laughs> Creature, thanks for the 10 biddies, bro. Billing address. God damn it. Why doesn't it just add the shit on here? Thirty dollars for two things? Fuck. It should really be thirty dollars for two entrees, but I guess that's what's good. All right. It's been placed. I lit she sent me a screenshot of what her screen looked like, and I literally, mine didn't look like that, so I don't know. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus, just watching it on screen. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna, I'm probably just gonna end stream here, boys. I can go to the layout and pretend like I'm playing. Um, I do apologize, though. But, thanks for chilling and watching... Watching the opening with me. Leon the Lobster video react time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fucking love Leon the Lobster. All right, y'all. I'm going to end here. And I will see you folks next time. Peace out.